Good evening everyone, welcome to another stream. We're going to be playing some more LA Noir tonight. Webcam just looked like it kind of froze up then. Hopefully it's all working okay and you guys can hear me and see me and everything's working. And yeah, so it looks like the bot doesn't want to do the fucking custom greeting messages or any greeting messages at all. So apologies for that time, I'll look into that before our tomorrow's stream and hopefully get the bloody thing working. Fucking technology never works when you want it to, but tonight we're going to be working through the last Vice case and I think there's a DLC case. I'm not sure if it's part of Vice or if we'll get transferred first or how that's going to work, but we'll find out soon enough. We'll jump over to the game screen and get it loaded up. Let's see what we can, uh, what crimes we can stop or <clears throat> who we can arrest for them at least tonight. Hey Greek, welcome to the stream, sir. Set up. Promising name. Lick my nut. Cause I can lull. Lick your nuts cause you can. Why not, Tom? Did you like sure to fight Phelps? Oh, well, we're going to That's see some wrestling or some, or some boxing. I found it a pretty humbling experience. See a sandwich, buddy? Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. Ah, so the, the setup is that the, uh, the, the fight is rigged, basically. And the vice guy knows and is participating. Let's get a ringside seat. Anyone here into boxing or uh, any similar sports? <laughs> Not overly myself, I've never really seen the point in two people beating the shit out of each other. Like, at least put them in a fucking forest with a machine gun each and make it interesting, you know? Like in Hunger Games style. Fuck, look at the face on that dude that's meant to be white. Wait, did the wrong person just win? Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. So we're going after this dude because he didn't take God a fall. Damn you, Alan, you get out here right now! He's gone. He's not there. Step back, LAPD. What's How the fuck on? is this a police issue? Of a bitch, Hammond, a police is the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? <laughs> we had an arrangement. We had a goddamn it's arrangement! It's probably just cost him a fucking that lot of money. The bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Oh, wow. So Phelps is going dirty, too. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. No shit, Why we didn't see that, that coming. Why would fight fair and square? To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money, or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see because what you can find. Because he lost money. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. He's not dead. Like, he literally came in here and bailed out the window. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. That's just the tape they use around their fucking knuckles, so they don't, they don't know what it actually does. Keeps their fingers together so they don't get broken or something, maybe? Who knows? Don't think this is anything. Oh, that light still triggers me. It's not anything related, but it's still something. Very fucking clearly. All right, so there's literally nothing else in here, it seems. Oh, there's a newspaper. Have we not already seen that one? That headline looks familiar. 
So let's have a look. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help? No, it's a follow-up. Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. This is the morphine guy. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. Except it did. We can see it in the paper. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something. And it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons. For short-term gain. We came home from China. On the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. He's like, it's I thought up, looks I over to the phone. A fair share. <laughs> oh no, Some shut the door. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. No, you didn't. You wanted a fucking fancy house and a fancy car. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. This dude's about to be, get fucking taken I'll for another ride. For further allocation. That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you Sell it to me instead. And sound you your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the Told narcotic you. off your hands. <laughs> and you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds yeah, that I sure. no require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you So he's not even much. gonna pay him for the drugs, just take the There's drugs. And if we sell all these food. houses, we'll, we'll give you a cut of the money. He's a magician. Working selflessly to help the infirm. Fucking no, he's not. Working selfishly to improve his fucking pockets. Oh, hello, Mick. Welcome to the stream, mate. Switch having a spaz? Oh, hopefully, it's not going the same way fucking YouTube did. So we're investigating a um, you better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. Uh, what was that, sir? Roy, you out of pocket too? Oh, of Mickey. course, fucking Roy Seems knows. Don't worry about it. This gangster. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats well, against him. Fucking shut up, Boy Scout. He's the Greyhound. He's a frisky one. That's not he? how you make friends. Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I uh, met his brother-in-law. Wait, it wasn't his brother-in-law was the Dahlia, was scared it? Back there. Fucking hope not. That's kind of weird. I thought it was a city official, not a fucking mobster. You don't make friends with Operator salad. Message for KGPL. Putting you through now. No, Roy's dirty. That's Cold why he Phelps knows everyone. Badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. Okay. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. I 
the mobster and a city official the same thing. Pretty much in the 40s. That's a very valid point. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? A Talking hint? It's more like a whole fucking turf. bucket of it. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. <laughs> if it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Uh, no, this is Roy's car, Holden. We started driving it once we got uh, bumped up to Vice. This is either our last or our second last Vice case, so we'll get a new car soon. Do a sick cunt you burn out. Uh, I don't think we can actually do burnouts. I'm pretty sure we've tried before, but just for you, Mick, we'll give it another bash. Uh, what was the handbrake? I think it was circled, right? No, pathetic. That's that cop. Like a decent guy. Three walk into a bar. Oh, yeah, what do you want? definitely LAPD. not doing its uh, custom greeting. We're making business. inquiries into the whereabouts of I'll an Albert that tonight. Hammond. Hopefully no one here it. by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register. That's if you a don't fair point. Me. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed? Her I did not car? see that, Greek. No. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Prominent Tommies? What the fuck? Like, does he mean somebody named Tommy, or is that some sort of fucking old people talk? Probably old people talk. Considering we've got... Like, Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The yeah, old there we bulldog. go. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Hey buddy, you dropped something? Door's unlocked. Looks well, like he's had a bra here. He must be heading home. You know I hope he makes it. <laughs> that crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Yeah, he's gonna die somewhere, it's just where does the mob find him? And, uh, how quickly do they kill him? Does Albert have somebody special? <laughs> I didn't see anyone in his corner in the fight. I mean, it might be. We're finding all sorts of interesting stuff here that makes no sense of him having. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Knock shop. God, Nick. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Oh, there we go. We have an address. Candy has expensive taste. I bet our uh, candy has Albert an expensive has hourly rate, too. Who is Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Eleven grand's basically a millionaire. Right, let's go after Back in uh, that time. See if that gets us any closer. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell's going on? No, not particularly. I still don't understand why we're going after this when, when like, just because he skipped out and ripped off uh, Roy. Sixty cent an hour in those days. I think candy's probably a, a dollar an hour. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She should know his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Two dollars a second. Two fifty if it's uh, one of Kenji's establishments.
Broadcasting Company salutes our veterans. We need to know which room is Candy's. Can I help you, so yet again, we'll talk to the counter person and look through the fucking Edwards. register. Apartment seven. Oh no, you she take knows the it. outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah, sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. Tom, that's like not a very good fake up, name. Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. Two dollars, sucky fucky. Love you a long time. Me so cars. horny. Oh God, me. <laughs> Thank you for the cheers. <laughs> Keep it up, Sounds bitch. like we're missing all he's the fun. Fuck get in there, the You know where he's hiding. <laughs> oh, you bastard! You're about to get a fucking beat down. Like hitting women. Like, remember <laughs> to switch to the fucking mouse. This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. <laughs> Get fucking knocked out. Why do you want to punch her? That's a bit rude. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take oh, a look around. Check his pockets, dickhead, not his fucking face. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? I think the odds are pretty good. Dinner cold. <laughs> Nasty weapon. Oh, it's Italians a tool. carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Oh, he's fucking dissing the Italians. That's dangerous. It's like she was on her She's way for a uh, holiday. Punching the dick several times, nice surprise when he wakes up. Uh, I, I think I'll leave that to someone else. Guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. A cruise ship. Scania sails from New York. Some fucking big ambitions. It was him Take dissing the Italians, Tom, not we me. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? <laughs> I find that pretty hard to believe. She's she's done lots of things wrong. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. From you know my partner. No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Oh, shit. Um... Like, I don't know if that's a single person ticket or like. Yeah, I'm gonna say doubt. Save it for the suckers, and Candy. Fuck it up. Albert of won big. He may not have told you, but you don't strike me as the type who leaves town when there's money to be had. Call me anything you like, Flatfoot. I'm done with this burg and all the cheap chiselers who live here. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Yeah, no, you're full of shit, bitch. We got the fucking. That was in his locker. Ah, magazine coupon. Yeah, that might have helped. Um, yeah, that's just numbers. That doesn't really. Give us anything. Give up these men. But of course, that was probably what we were about to do. these charges against you, Slide. Fuck's sake. What? Charges against me? All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings from him as well? You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Yeah, that's a lie. She's going on the fucking... You're lying to me. Albert finally won a big fight. I say good luck to him. But you know where he is. Let me help him, Candy. Do all you cops run off at the mouth? Prove I know where he is. 
Uh, the bus ticket to Ohio? Was that where he was from? Where's his a letter to his mum? Can't quite read where that's going to. Um, already fucked it up so much this is, time. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <sighs> well, get out of your way, Candy. We know you're a busy lady. Fuck like that I up. Said, totally. I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows uh, what him and his shit. If he pulls it on you, gone. most likely he's close my enough that too, he pulls it and guy. stabs you. I'll and then this. you would have thought of pulling your gun out if you weren't already bleeding to death. Fucking hero. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train oh, hello, station. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Welcome to the stream, I smell sir. A I say stake her out. See where she goes. We are just totally fucked up that interrogation. So now we have to fucking stealth mire after her. Well, he's not the bad guy. He's one of Tail the bad guy's broad. cronies. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Oh, God. It's another fucking tailing them on foot. And fucking tastic. Assassin's Creed, 1940s. Was it really an assault in the 40s? Hold on, like... We don't know if she didn't, like, burn dinner. Obviously now it is, but back then it was a different fucking, different country really, different world. For fuck's sake! Not having a good start to this game tonight, are we? What the hell? And sit through the fucking paper bullshit. Like, how is that incognito? Not even looking at the paper, just staring at her from behind the paper. again, doesn't she? I think she was further when she looked last time. not fucking creepy at all, is it? So I've got to use this thing to hide now? I guess. Although she's fucking walking away, so I don't know if Much we really need to. Yeah, yeah close. that's what I thought. Fucking drive away, you're my cover. Ben, at risk losing the trail. Just fucking go wide and use the building. Too 
much slack. I get closer. I can make up some distance here if we don't fuck it up. car here. Yeah, she won't see us behind this tiny little fence. No, no way. Not at all. It's the 40s. Of course they're tiny. She literally can't see us behind this fucking tiny fence because I'm quote unquote in cover. It's so ridiculous. At this point, she'd be fearful of anyone in her suit and hat. Great, because she's got the mob after her. The easiest way to tell a detective from a mobster is if they pull a badge out or not, basically. I also like how literally nobody gives a shit that we are very clearly stalking this poor lady through the fucking alleyways and parks and everything. It's like, oh, this is totally normal. Nothing to worry about at all. Don't you fucking turn around, bitch. Do it! How the fuck are we meant to... Fuck's sake. You are just going to have us do all of that bullshit again. Oh no. Thankfully, it had a checkpoint. It's very fucking lucky for the game. Oh, don't worry, uh, Holden, we go to the arson desk next. Maybe we get to. Oh god, that's going to trigger the hell out of Mick, I'm guessing. Once we get to uh, that, that lot of cases. Shit starts burning to the ground. fuck even is the project? I keep seeing people talking about it. No idea what the fuck it even is. I'm waiting for it to get to the fucking end this time. Fucking leg it! Run, Forrest! You're the policeman! Ah, oh, that dude! Yeah, no comment. Safest answer there. He can put the Welcome hood up. Makers. Yes. Surprise, surprise. 
get in the car so we can get out of the car. That makes fucking sense. Uh, A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much does she collect? Thirty-six hundred dollars. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Uh, no, no. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there. Wrote something. Oh, on we get to do the fucking scratchy thing left. again. We haven't done that since basically it told us how to do it. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. <laughs> Examiner Drugstore? Man, I guess the address for it. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Thank you for the work support, Panda. Let's go, boy. Don't just fucking slowly walk out there. At least, unlike the fat guy, he Call runs where they are ahead of him. Further to your request, Bumco Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, The Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee's. CGPL player. Uh, so she's going to a different bookmaker's. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. The question is, is Candy agent. collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Anything yet? What is going on? Just stop in the middle of the intersection for the cutscene. That works. Why not? Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? <laughs> of course he knows all the illegal bookies. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams. Ooh, listen to this shames. guy. How long ago did she leave? Fucking Maybe authentic Call the fucking cab. mobster voice. Number, That's awesome. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Oh, so this is the... We realize we haven't used this mechanic all fucking game, so let's make a mission out of just using the mechanic. Oh, no. Just the cab card. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. Thought we had to do another fucking operator. Give me R and I. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood Twenty One Eighty Seven, please? This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Really like the E3 Street? That's good, great. What's up? Do you have the number of that cab? It's interesting. Some of the things were kind of shit. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor <laughs> at the best of times. Oh, he's not Ray that bad. Shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Really wish I had have said forget about it. That would have just completed that scene. This 
Broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the fluff. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. Uh, is a limey the same as a pikey? Fuck you, Holden. Literally, by looking at your message, I crashed. Oh, damn it. Gave you power. Fucking epic jinx, then. Epic fucking jinx. Done so well, too. Politician that spoke like that. I'm not sure who you mean there. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not. Oh, great! Now Don't we get, get to do close. the driving. She tail. must be inside. Bucky Irish. So what's a limey then? We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Tommy Jippo's. Okay, so they're the pops, not the the Irish. How many stops is she gonna make? How many bookies are in LA? Easy, Cole. Better back it up. That's it. We're spotted. Back off. Back off. Well, if the kids would change lanes properly, Hammond he wouldn't be spotted. Himself, being this sure he was going to win. Well, of course he would. The black guy would know he was going to take a fall, and it wouldn't give him a proper beating. He'd just be waiting for him to drop. Next minute, he gets the shit kicked out of him, and everybody loses. Hey Daniel, doing good. Not having the best day with L.A. Noir tonight, but other than that, doing okay. Back off before we get fucking busted again. Just trying to fucking lose us. I'll try better than that, lady. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phil. Shit, that was drop unintentional. Back. That bitch is giving G'day, me Greasy, what I'm the stream, That's mate. all I know. Hope you're doing well. Just joining, this lady is basically the uh, girlfriend of a boxer that was paid to take a fall and then bet on himself and didn't take the fall. Whoa, back off before we and get married. And now uh, getting his girl to go... Oh, for fuck's sake! Is that getting his girl to go pick up all the uh, winnings before they skip town? And since she ripped, or since they ripped off uh, our partner, it's a police matter, apparently. Don't quite understand that, but whatever. Oh, the whole fucking thing, really? We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. That's not going to be the problem. Trust me. Maybe it's an early mark. Nice. 10 a.m. till now, Jesus, that's a long shift. How many stops is she gonna make? 42. I like how we can stop here, and this is totally not suspicious. Oh, and she's fucking trying to lose us again with traffic. They're both KGP agents, according to Greek. And we're apparently CIA agents or something. Damn dirty commies. Hammond is full of himself. Being this sure he was going to win. Long time staring at alcohol and not drinking it. That's the painful part.
Oh, joy. It's always good telling drunk people that you can't sell them alcohol because we literally can't sell you things. And good that evening, Keegan. Happy to be well. What I'm owed. That's all I know. Welcome to the stream, sir. Oh, well, that's fine, Daniel. That just means, like, those 60% of the products just percent pretend they're not there. I'll take care of them for you. It's all right. So it's easy fix, that problem. Pull over. He's heading inside. To the bus depot. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Fucking Riri. Over this, this tailing bullshit. The loony bin. Thank you for your patience. Right, fucking make a decision up, bitch. Which way are you going? Skeleton goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop. Yeah, that's not a funny joke. Shut the fuck up. The cop from the newspaper. Oh, Jesus Christ! I think Ray just shot her. Roy! Roy. Keep getting his fucking name wrong. Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> He's, he said... Just try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. He was tailing his Hammond. Girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. <laughs> if it's not in the system, it must be free. I agree, I agree. Yeah, I think it was our fucking partner that shot her. I don't think it was Hammond. Fucking zoom in, you stupid gun. Hate this thing, because you've got to get it in just the right spot. And then move it to just the next right spot. 32 caliber, one shot fired. And now your hand, your fingerprints are all over it, so good job there. <sighs> Evidence management out of 10. The Egyptian theater. <laughs> nice fucking movie they go on to see. So what now? theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Yeah. Like, how did he go from tailing Hammond, quote-unquote, to not having any idea what happened? Oh no, where's he gone? How did she get shot? Because you're a fucking dirty cop, Roy. And I'm gonna fucking have to deal with you soon. Where the fuck's that car? All the way down there, really? You couldn't have driven it closer after you killed the bitch? <laughs> 30 cents will never rip off. You know what, can't you're a dirty cop, you can walk. I only have clean cops in my car, that's technically yours. Oh, it's only like two blocks anyway. Why would he come to the movie theatre of all places?
Hello to you in uh, Bali, Steve. Hopefully that volcano is not giving you any dramas. Hope you've enjoyed this your holiday, like a sir. long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. That's so He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to that. That explains it all, Holden. Success. Why there was so much up blood. Thank you for the cheer, Daniel. Thank you for the support, mate. Uh, yeah, it was very chilly. It was like minus six, I think it got down to last night on my back deck. Very fucking cold. The one time in ten days you're similar that you stream 360p and it's when it's on the way home. <laughs> oh, it's always the way, isn't it? So, she was stabbed. That means it might not have been him. It might have been the fucking... Carlos, I think it was, that we let go at the hotel. In which case, it technically was also him, but... No volcano, nice. Why'd you kill her, Carlos? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Yeah, it was Carlos. Ricky made it clear, is it me or you? And, and I intend to keep on living. We can have a gunfight with these two in a minute. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. He's gonna be I up in the little you. booth, you dopey dickhead. You, you did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck. And Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, right, kid, so you have to but get that's rid of him and take the money. No car, car loss. I see what you did there, Greek. I see what you did there. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake. Right, he wasn't our uh, marine. Can't shoot. Fuck, he's got mates though. Stay down. Move, I got you. I can't even fucking see them in here. What's in here? How's that for aim, Eagle? Always talking about my bad aim. That was some good aim. Shit! Fuck! Stop reloading at the wrong time! Where are you? You whiny cocksucker. Stick your head up again, dickhead. One more time. Maybe he's dead? What auto aim? What remotely auto aim? I wish it fucking was auto aim. Throw out the guns. Oh shit, oh, I just got shot. Just thinking, oh, we've got blood going on. Cheaty bastard. Push forward. Push forward where? Oh, there he is. Clear me some space here. Stay in cover. I can't even fucking see him from up here. Stay Ray slash Roy can deal with that idiot. Are you trying to get yourself killed? I'm in cover, fuckwit.
Take cover, you lunatic. <laughs> Why rushing to get all the money, otherwise he lags behind. Exactly. No, can you rack the shotgun? Is that very good? He's probably long gone. Oh no, there he is. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. How did he get the money? Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't what ever come fuck? back. What the fuck? Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Well, that's going to make him real unhappy, uh, real unpopular with Roy. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! So do something about it, pin dick. I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl, you're doing venereal disease citations until you can <laughs> learn to stop lying to me. Wow. Phelps? Is that even a thing? Got anything to add? Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. Whoa. You're back on the street. Busted all the way back to beat cop. Ouch. Why can't we go back to homicide? I am so keen to play uh, Days Gone. I'm looking forward to being able to have a look at it. Looks pretty good. The Naked City. 187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over I there. I guess we proved ourselves and got back. This must be the uh, yeah, bonus the DLC case, I want to put them down one which they maybe have put in the thing out of order. I, say we I don't know. In there and find the goddamn evidence. But apparently a broad has been Corners killed with their army this. morphine. Who's that get-up of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as... Detective Earl, this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. <laughs> Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Yeah. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional well, couple Well, now. you can just fucking walk ahead, thanks, mate. I don't trust you. The same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I, I don't have a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow on my arm, so I don't know what you're talking about there, mate. I was door knocking all morning, but I got a make on the car. No, that's not the door out. Oh, it's, it's also got mixed reviews because some of the reviewers were fucking retarded. I've been in this job. Oh no, this biker acts too much like a biker. It must be a bad game because 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 we can bash on it him being a biker and, and earn fucking social justice bullshit points. Fucking. Oh, it pisses me off. People getting outraged over computer games not being totally 100% diverse and accepting of everybody for everything. Fuck it, it's called art for a reason, dumb motherfuckers. You seem distracted. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for, so what? That's life. We did our job. Exactly. Just like Closing in the, one the case murder cases. Another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Uh, the mobsters are making more money. You're probably you making more me? money. The deal's Cole's being not. done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. Exactly. God's Steve, and you know, striking. never mind the fact that those people exist too, like, in the of in progress at why the do they, they not get to be represented in the computer the games, mind. but fucking everyone else does? Look where you're going! Fucking ridiculous. Like the cyberpunk outrage. Everyone sees cyberpunk and apparently gets all fucking out of place because one ad on one billboard in one scene of the fucking cinematics 
shows a clearly trans person being used in advertising to sell a drink. Oh no, that must be bad. Look at how they're oppressing trans people by showing that they're now a regular part of society to the point that they're used as an advertising book. I think their logic kind of flew out the window. Because that don't make no fucking sense to me. And like, the game has all sorts of other things you could equally say are just as bad. But no, 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 you can't pick on the trans people. You, you've got to include them. But, but they included them, but they did it wrong. I fucking don't even understand what the hell they're smoking or what's going on anymore. It's just stupid. You know how dangerous like, the whole point of Cyberpunk is that the corporations exploit the fuck out of everybody. It's literally the theme of the game. But no, it's bad. Exactly, Eagle. They just want to get outraged about something to drive clicks so that they can, oh, what do you know, exploit the trans people and make that fucking money off them. That's all it's about. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Exactly, Trav. Thanks. Like, it, it's totally normalized them to the point that if they hadn't have had their fake, woke, outrage, bullshit articles, no one would have even noticed. I didn't notice, and I've watched all of the cyberpunk shit at least three times. I didn't even see the fucking ad. There were more interesting things going on in the fucking cinematics. Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Hey, it's our original folks. partner. You two want a hug? And our Can other original off? partner. It's like a fucking family Relax, reunion. Us. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynolds. Yeah, misrepresented by showing that they are trans, because it was a, uh, a male trans work. female who Overdose quite clearly had a bulge Overdose showing still, so had, had any sort of surgery. Here, here. Wait. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Actually, yes. Go you're right not ahead. homicide anymore. No, apparently we have to do it all. Phelps? Mal, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we are dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice it's anything science about shit. May I took a look? Be my guest. Take a closer look at her. Catch right me right. outside, how about that? Thank you for the cheek, Egan. And yeah, it's, it's becoming evolved, more and more like fucking 1984. It's ridiculous. The funniest part is all the people that, you know, are trans will support that and just see, Losing oh, someone's hurt our community, we must Jeez. bash that product. Like bite marks. Don't even realize that the people making those articles are literally exploiting them for money. They don't give a fuck about whether you're trans or not. They just want people to see, oh no, outrage article. I better click it and see how horrible these bad, evil game companies are. Which drives ad revenue, which makes them money. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. It's pretty it's a trail horrific. Of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Surettes. It would make my theory. The morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Surettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. This is her in these photos? It's probably going to be junk, but we're here, so may as well. I don't think so. Take a quick look. I... Really was. Pretty girl like that? Having trouble with some boys, huh? She got her heart broken. Couldn't take it anymore. So she ran herself back down some hills and then she drifted off. Looks like barbiturates. Yeah, I don't don't really understand that. I don't know much about like the old world wars, whether women were involved or not, but who cares? 
It's a fucking video game. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Okay. What else is rattling around in this thing? Well, I don't know. Flip it fucking over and have a look. No, pick it back up, dickhead. There's something else in there. We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs okay. would make her life a roller coaster. I mean, is that really something to be outraged about? It's fucking EA. You know, be outraged about them normalizing gambling for children. Jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. No, no, it's all about the fucking women in World War One and trans people being used as marketing tools because they've been included in a futuristic game. People just need to fucking chill the fuck out and get over their bullshit. Top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. I mean, I can understand that though, inside. Greek. Because the uh, the flip side of that is so many companies spend 11 months of the year not giving a fuck about LGB blah 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 people. I say that because I can never fucking keep up with all of their bloody letters in their acronym. And then, oh, it's June, so let's chuck rainbows everywhere for Pride Month, and everyone goes, oh my god, they're so supportive, oh my god, it's so wonderful, oh my god. Fucking give it a rest. Stop making it about what makes you different That's if you want to be start. the same. Just point out that, oh, we're all humans. We've all got fucking blood on the inside. Don't give a fuck about what's different about us. Just be people. Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalogue. Anyway, I'm gonna focus back on the case now and I'm hopefully Phelps. figure it out. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynolds. Okay, was I? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing. Ah, uh, there's I probably some call. dusting you should be doing. Looking we at you. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. So at the moment we're investigating a murder, um, well, a murder or suicide. It's been made to look like a suicide, but the coroner thinks it was a murder. Lady in a bathtub, uh, being injected full of heroin. Seems to have been two people holding her down from the injuries and shit. And I haven't really been paying attention beyond that <laughs> because of all this fucking stuff about that LGBTIGA plus now. Apparently a lot of nonsense was shitty about straight people using that tag on Twitch despite the fact that the A means ally. See, I personally get offended by the fucking cis thing. Like, that just sounds so disgusting. This whole cisgender thing. Like, how come it's a fucking offense if a doctor just looks at the genitals of a baby and says that that baby is this gender because it has the biological features of that gender, that's bad. For you. But they just get to call us cisgendered because the they want to. I, I need to do something. Yeah, I'll fucking get to you in a minute, lady. Just shut the fuck up, all right? But yeah. It, I mean, I can kind of understand that. Steve, because a lot of a decent number of I those people around here all day are using that tag. Shut up! Her I'm trying to fucking talk. The water? Blah blah. We know I, your I face need beneath to do the water. Something. Um, what was I saying? I can't stand around here all day waiting for you. Oh my God! Will this be shut the up? Let's, let's fucking ask her a question. I, I need to do something. But yeah, I think a fair amount of those people are using the tag to basically benefit themselves. That was again, cashing in on the community. Upset. Maybe no I'm wrong, I don't know. Normal. No more than normal? What sort of fucking answer is that? Doubt. Would she have killed herself for a man? Miss Julie would never have killed herself. Turkey slapper. <laughs> she was a very determined young lady. 
one of those people who shake the tree for all it's worth. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. I mean, that's definitely a doubt or a lie looking at the fucking way she's looking around. Men friends, Mrs. Reynoldson. Spill it. I will not spread gossip about Miss Julia. She was very nice to me. How can they look so I fucking suspicious? We sister. not have any evidence. Who is she humping? But no, you no, the she's sheets. still wrong. You're disgusting. If you're going to take that tone, I won't answer any more questions. Well, if you're going to take that tone, I won't ask you any more questions. What was it like? Apparently, I will. Working for Miss Randall. Perfectly fine, officer. I don't fucking know. Do you do the of course, everything's on a wrong. Basis? Twice a week since Miss Julie moved here from New York. That's another good point, Greek. Like, they're not even Julia inclusive themselves, yet they want everyone else to be case. inclusive. Julia can't be hurt anymore. It's just stupid. Well, so we've got fuck all to go on. It's just where we've already been. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time. I mean, time that is also a very valid point, dope. Steve. That is a very valid point. Maybe Twitch needs to have, like, a slightly different tag to differentiate those kind of things. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, honestly, though, it's pretty fucking horrible to think that people are looking at, are watching streamers purely because they are also LGBTQ. Like, if I want to watch a stream, I don't give a fuck what the person does in their own personal alone time, you know? I mean, there are certain things, obviously, that society is dead set against, and, and absolutely, if I found out someone was doing those kind of things, fuck it, I would destroy them, but I don't give a fuck if they're fucking dudes, fucking women, whatever. It's not irrelevant. Their well, on-screen presence is what's relevant. I'm fucking having a conversation here. Shut the fuck up. Bloody NPCs. Never met a man that he's attracted to, but if he did, I'm not going to discount anything. No, no, it's not very inclusive, is it? Not at all. And that's the other thing, they never have any fucking solutions either. It's always just outrage and anger and, oh, this is horrible, why are you doing this? Be nice to me, be inclusive. Motherfucker, we are inclusive and you still get angry with us, so shut the fuck up. I'm gonna get myself bad ranting about all this shit. It's all I'm not being inclusive enough. Can't even fucking find any evidence. This is a bullshit. DLC case. I don't like this one. Like, what evidence am I meant to be looking for out here? We've been around the block. There's nothing. Literally nothing. Unless there's something maybe in this, um, fenced off bit. No, it's fully fenced off. How far are we meant to fucking search? Do we have to do this? Can we just fuck off back to the station and get a different case? Alright, well... There's no evidence, so let's go to somewhere else. It's probably meant to be, but... Ah, uh, we're meant to be looking for the fucking... the window to the cellar. There's bricks to the cellar. We're meant to be looking for uh, the syringes to prove the coroner's story. Yeah, what what cellar window, Holden? Oh, the bricked up space. No, it's just it's just bricks. 
I did notice that there's boxes blocking a door. I'm not quite sure if it's a door you can go in or not. So I'll push them out of the way and have a look. Okay, it saved something, but didn't give us any progress, so... Fuck it, let's get out of here. Oh, I hate that too, the fucking inclusive bullshit in uh, hiring. You should hire someone because they're the best person for the job. Not because they tick the fucking token minority box. Like, way to just devalue your workforce. Simply for the sake of social Wait, justice LC, points. Galloway, like the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? There weren't any dings though. So fast, you barely have time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn yeah, a no thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't well, see why they'd be any better or worse. Bukowski certainly couldn't. He'd be drinking all the fucking evidence. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to Sorry, it. Galloway was the You're a terrier, drunker. Phelps. And that's what Might I mean. Might make Channel 7 again. Old bulldog hey! Get up a flight of stairs I'm not too, up too unhappy much. about that. That didn't, uh, didn't do too bad for the channel in the long run. Quite a nice little boost to the viewership. So if they want to boost me again, fucking go for it. Send me, send me a fucking message this time, Dyke Muffy. We'll, we'll have a chat. Sorry, Mike Duffy's the real name. I keep forgetting that. What are you See, doing? Being inclusive again. Calling him a dyke. That makes total sense, Eagle. Send me outside to look for evidence because they want me to find something that's inside. Fuck, this game is ridiculous. I swear. I love the story and I love a lot of the game, but... There's a lot of fucking problems with it. Yeah, it's just ridiculous, Greek. They, they should hire you because you're the best person for the job. I don't mind the way the AFP do it. They have, um, like an inclusive, whatever you want to call it, plan for uh, applications. So there's a certain number of applications that have to be females. So, you know, they're showing that they're committed to having a diverse workforce, but they have to actually still pass. They're still assessed as normal and they can still not get hired. I think that's reasonable. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. <laughs> so why don't you then? What was the doctor's name? Oh, it's going to tell us, that's right. 505, yeah, Dr. Stoned, Stoned Man. Office 505. Thought we finished the Reef of Madness case. Yes, sir, your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No. No, not really. We wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. He wasn't being Dr. rude. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD. There's no need to be you. rude, miss. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. It is much more important. Thank you for understanding, you fucking fat bastard. You want to die at your back pain won't be as Dr. bad. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? That she's about dead or that we're uh, investigating um, it? Not if it doesn't compromise doctor patient privilege, Detective. How well did you know Miss Randall? Barely at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Only been a patient for six months? He's some sort of shrink and he barely knows her at all. Good to see she's getting her fucking money's worth. Ah, it's a lie because it was made out in uh, 46 and we're in 47 now. Oh, you Julia Randall up. has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. 
Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? <laughs> Do you have access to my patient records? Are you calling me a liar? Proving that he is in fact a liar. Your prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I told her to slow up, but no. Life was too short for her. And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? <laughs> Miss Randall was Does in the uh, fashion business. Them. She wanted to control her weight. <sighs> she was in the fashion business. I guess that's true. Probably not. Of course not. She didn't appear to have a weight problem. <sighs> she had a self-esteem problem. Ms. And Randall we're meant to fucking know that now. Through her appearance. That'll be all for now, right. Dr. Stone. Really? We'll be in touch. There's your fucking sciatica, fatso. Oh wait, that's not him. Oh well. The government, we have access to everything. We know exactly what you're doing. The game just is going to tell us that it's wrong because it asked us, it, it wanted us to answer a different question. <sighs> Pisses me off. The old boy is lying. About what? I don't know. <laughs> he looked relieved when he said she was dead. That's a Thank you for the host, Daniel. The death of a young patient. Um, I think we've got four or five cases after this one. Can't quite remember off the top of my head, but we have one more department to go, and I think it's a slightly longer department than the others have been. So we can go back to her apartment and get whatever we're meant to be looking for, but uh, we probably already missed the question. Have you noticed how brokers him. only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private until it gets in the way of police work, and it's only private. Seven more cases, them. Jesus. A couple of drinks. Ah, oh, yes, hold it. That's right. I haven't given you your lucky spin yet. So we'll pull up at this red light. Uh, so, Greg, that's a new thing that we've added for people that subscribe and resub uh, and get gift subs if the gift sub giver wants to be nice and uh, let them have the spin. They get a bonus prize uh, each month that they subscribe. It's mostly just a bit of fun, a bit of uh, a way that I can say thank you to the people that are supporting me. We'll probably add things to the spinner over time as we refine things. Got a, a new bot. We're going to add some really cool stuff to the shop for it too. Uh, and you do also get gold just by chatting and being in the stream, so even working you get some, not as much. But of course it is good you have uh, the 500 gold, you have uh, you buy Rotoff pretty thing. You can uh, buy, maybe buy yourself a pretty dress as uh, hey, a one here in your car, I'm what sure. What can I help you with today? I think his name LAPD, is LAPD, ma'am. I, I hope I haven't done anything wrong. Much better than YouTube. No, ma'am. Everything is. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? Kinda. She was found dead this morning. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. And we have nothing that disproves that at all. And it's going to be Can wrong. You tell us why you let Miss. Oh no, it's go. actually right for a change. Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. 
The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. Did she have any clothes? But that's what a model's meant to do, isn't it? Actually, yes. Heather can't she bananas instead of gold? Would you like to speak with her? I'd like to know you buy the, the Please don't inform bananas. Her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. Time to throw the doctor down engagement. the well. <laughs> Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? Yeah, you've got to take it off to show me. That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. Okay. That's relevant how? How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my... <laughs> invested on the Kenji market. Okay. Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia okay. have been friends for years. And I care because... Um... So we got to, uh, promoted off of uh, Homicide, where he's still working, to the Vice Squad, which we're working now. And he was actually back at the uh, last, uh, at the crime scene for this case, because we're basically helping Homicide out at the moment, because the Homicide included the drugs that we got off the thing two or three cases ago. And a good morning, Buddha. Welcome to the stream, sir. Hope you're Are having Ms. a Randall great day. And Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson. I don't even know who the fuck they are. Lady, how the fuck am I meant to tell her that? She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. So, of course, we're getting all the useless questions. Right. It would be very helpful to our... Always the fucking way. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Well, then maybe I'll just arrest you for obstruction Julia of justice, Randall you dumb bitch. Dead this morning. Or tell her. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. I hope all is going well with TRQ. Oh, we've got to call fucking KGPL again. She seemed more upset than most of the other people have been. Where's Peter Griffin? Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Yes, Detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please. Thank if you, you must. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure, why not? Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. So the coroner has moved hospitals because we moved police stations. That's totally legit. That's how it works in the real world. Absolutely. Fuck, hell, this game. Great job you in the United States said right away, so that gives us an excuse to go priority. Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a place. Hey, we got a we got a compliment from our buddy. Nice. We must be doing the right thing, even though we're fucking everything up. And it's a lot about how good a cop he really is. Oh shit, look at it shot and went straight past the waypoint. Oh, look at that fucking perfect turnaround. Fucking valet parking right there.
Ah, the tram. Yeah. I was wondering what you meant then, Greek. I assume the trams wouldn't run at night, though, back in the 40s. Thank you, Puckles. Gotta to, got to luckily get it right sometimes. Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, Detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. Well, he would drift. Hey, that is where. Do not leave prisoners unattended. Why are you taking prisoners to the mall? Wait, where the fuck am I meant to be going? This way. But that looks... Oh. What? What a weird fucking building this is. Cole, Roy, I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. So he Branch was uh, the accomplice. Face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long So the car has done half of our job for us. I found something else. Of course you did. Okay, cool. We've already looked at that. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. <laughs> One of you are the father. Oh, God. Hold it. The father of who, though? kind of disturbing oh how convenient we just go across the parking lot and into our station hey, isn't those bike boys gonna die? In the mr arnett i'm the detective thing? phelps this is detective earl thanks for coming in call me henry it's the least i could do terrible news about julia How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business and Julia... Uh, Wizbot is our new bot. I'm not sure what you mean by above the chat, though. I have no reason to know what the fuck he's saying. We were like, friends. Again, another fucking interview that we have no relevant information for. Landlady said she was seeing so much man. fun. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Anyone seen where Miss Wells went? I mean, he looks kind of dodgy there, and you watch this be Spill wrong. It, Henry. You of know course it's about wrong. A man named Henderson? It's always fucking wrong. Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town. Somewhere back east. Do you know Mr. Lepowski? Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? I don't know what you're talking about there, Daniel. Sorry. He's a career criminal lying dead next door. Again, how the fuck would like we know he that he doesn't know who it is? Would you? No, I would not. Fucking bullshit, told bogus. Us you were in fashion? Fucking investigations. That's right. Some kind of traveling salesman? And this is really Once I got out of the core, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. The Fighting Sixth. You were in what the Sixth Marines? What the fuck Marines? does being French yes. have to do with anything, right? I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. 
That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Yeah, but that, I still don't understand what you're talking about. Sorry, Trav. I know the dude's name is LeBlanc and that he's French, but... And? That doesn't mean that that random dude's gonna fucking know him. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. Careful, we'll get spotted at this distance. God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Cole. What the fuck about Hogan's Heroes now? A like, cat like our net can people talk fire. in full sentences, maybe, so I understand you? Then I can actually respond to your sentence? It was a day, was I? It was a day. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. You're welcome to fucking drive, dickhead. It's so tedious and pointless, these bits. We figured that one out already. They really are, was I? Boring and fucking tedious. I saw good Greg, I'm just getting fucking confused between this game being crazy and people not really having full sentences in the chat. Kind of... Got a bit confusing for me. He needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Of course I will. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Huff it, Phelps. What? I'll bring the car around when I'm Oh, he's here. fucking on foot now. Wonderful. Kind of fucking over this game at this point. Sure, I'll go incognito even though I can barely fucking see him. I'm sure he'll look behind us in a minute in, in a minute and go, oh no, there he is, fucking 300 meters away. I can totally make out that that's a cop. Slack. Gotta get closer. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. What are you doing? Gotta move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Literally nothing to do but fail the fucking mission. 
Too much slack. I gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Yeah, we just get spotted instead. And he can't see me there, like, what the fuck? That demonstrates quite clearly how bullshit these missions are. Literally halfway around the fucking corner, but no, no. Can't see me, because I'm in slack. cover. Gotta get closer. It's not too much slack, I can fucking see him perfectly fine. I know he's going to cross over this other way, we'll cross him from this side of the street, because he looks behind him all the time. Like, he won't even see me here. In fact, we can probably just go in cover, in clear sight of him, and be invisible. Because we're in cover. It's incognito when you just go fucking in cover everywhere. Right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Oh, Next he rack of Mexico. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. Because that's not weird at all. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City. Tomorrow night. That's good. But this is better. Oh my god. It's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on this? the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy okay. who owned the joint thought it was worth at least ten large. For a cigarette case. Arnett only got six hundred clams. I can't fucking read the writing on it. Cool, so we care about this why. See you, Daniel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you next time. No fucking clue what is even going on with this case. And this was a DLC case too. You'd think it would be fucking more with it if it's fucking DLC. But no, it's just all over the shop. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? The hey, most Martin. overused audio line in this yes, entire Detective. game. Detective Spakowski and Galloway request you return to the Hollywood station. They have information in the Julia Randall case. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was Patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood Ninth Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thanks for your help. I guess we'll go... Fuck, I don't even know. I don't even know this anymore in this mission. All the questions are stupid. The evidence is fucking all over the place. May as well speak to this dickhead and make the other two dickheads wait. A one-way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as... You're paying for every last scratch. Okay. 
What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. But why would he marry one and kill the other and then run off to Mexico? Coin flip. Random chance game. Kenji's Rocky Rishing. Well, we can probably probably do something like that. Hold on. Well, how do you know he didn't uh, fuck the one that he killed? Come on, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace. By stopping the car. Oh, and we're running the wrong fucking way. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Christ, they're shooting everybody. Reinforcements are on the way. You're covered, Cal. Shit, that didn't quite work. Totally. Stay down. Yeah, we need another gun over. No, you don't. Okay, that shooting was fucking horrible. Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Don't care. Good luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? It's probably Look, his name. Nab Jimmy on a Most people go by of years back. their name. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. He got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. He's been a big help. He you really hasn't. too badly yourself. So now, in all seriousness, we have to try and find Willie. You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? I think LeBlanc likes the Willie. Strong Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up LeBlanc's skull. Could be. So off to the police station, see what the other two dickheads have found. Hopefully they've got some actual progress on this case. Bad, don't care. I'm not a fucking beat crop. Hey, how they have to do this fucking cutscene every time you get to a location? I know that's where it is. That's where I drove to. He worked burglaries with a big guy, goes by the name of Willie. He might be our killer. 
Can you work boxing gyms, the Y, promoters, that kind of stuff? Since when have you started giving orders, Phelps? And where's the burglary angle? There was no sign of a... That's where our net comes in. Next stop, we speak to Lacey about a list of recent burglaries. The guy's a bum. His office is a front, and he's behind on the rent and his phone bill. And he's skipping town tomorrow. Let's get him in and beat it out of him. Do you want to bring in the killer, Rusty? It could be too smart for your own good, Phelps. We've been talking about that, haven't we, Roy? Stefan? Finbar? <laughs> yep, this Sir, fatso. I contraband list. Items stolen over the last year. Oh, I hope Hang this on, I'll dig case is over soon. I'm getting tired of this nonsense. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? Now we're going to look through for a fucking cigarette case. Oh, there it is, right at the very top. It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. And the black sapphire ring that, um... Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Yeah, that she had too. So that proves that he was pretty connected with her. Don't know what else I'm about to do with that. Now apparently there's more on it. See if there's anything else from that same person. No. Pearl ring? Even the engagement ah. ring was purloined. Our net is a cad. Now we've got everything. <clears throat> so what do we have to do now? Fucking hell. Objectives. Investigate Evestrom residence. We did the crime scene, although we apparently fucked that up. Rusty have been having to Hey, there's a fire engine! Anything you would like to tell We haven't me? seen a fire fucking fire engine. Valves, don't be this so game yet. Rusty had his best ever clearance rate working with you. Even if the cases he worked on can't be discussed. We were just comparing notes. Okay, good. Shut up now. I want to check out the You're fire engine. You're a case, man. You got Does it, it have a siren? We're driving this. Well, it's got a siren, sorry, but no lights. There we go, Mick. How's that for a fucking fire siren if you're Thanks. still lurking in the chat there? You gotta learn to take a compliment, Phelps. Yeah, this is cool as shit. A hopped up model, a cat, and a circus freak. Only in LA. Fairy tales of the rich and famous. More like pathetic tales of the desperate to be rich. And nobody and gets out the way for the fire the engine. Locks and the three bears. Arnett, LeBlanc, and Willie. Don't you go putting the pieces together again before they fit, Phelps. Listen to your old pal Rusty, or should I say Finbar? I wouldn't call him that if I were you. What do you care? It doesn't sound like you're the top of his Christmas card list. He gives everyone a hard time. That's just how he is. But whatever gets you through the day, Cole. Exactly, hold. We're just fucking push him out the way. Imagine a pursuit in this thing. Let's fucking ram them off the road. You oh, idiot. Brakes don't work too good. We might be stuck. No, just taking the scenic route. Yeah, we, we, we had to take this because we're um the most lit detective in LA at the moment. Slightly annoying zone it is. The, the main siren's okay, it's the fucking bell in the background. It actually makes me think of like a, a railway crossing. Like the, the fucking boom gate bells. If you, if you can tune out the siren, you can kind of hear it. It's the same rhythmic bell that they have. It's kind of funny. Looks like a piece of shit. Big fucking red light on the bonnet that doesn't light up. Good job, Rockstar. Thank 
Fuck your car. Not in my car. It's got decent acceleration for a big old shot. I'll give it that much. Adding it to the first pity of Far Patrol. I wonder if the models in this are unlocked, if you can rip them and put them into GTA. Because there are some nice old cars in this game. Oh, you meant the siren. Not sure why that hasn't come through on, um, on the stream yet, Panda. Thank you for the cheer. I'm not sure what the fuck the Texas Beach Bitches problem is today. There we go. Get the fuck out of the way. I'm a fire truck, I think. <laughs> <sighs> no, Mick won't mind. As long as it's back there when he needs it. I'm sure. You can't see these people, right? Um, can they not see the big giant fucking red fire truck with the most annoying siren in the history of Earth coming from it? Maybe they should have got the fuck out the way. Nice house. No idea whose house it even is. No clue what the fuck is going on with this case. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? She is. Would you follow me, sir? I am Mrs. Eastrom. Uh, if we find it, oh, this might be. Some stolen goods to yeah. You, yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions. Uh, mind. actually, yes, I would like Why something would to drink. Why would I mind, young man? If you are returning forty-three pieces of my property. Okay. Before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks. Straight up. Maria. Can you get the detective a drink? <laughs> and one for me too. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> like everything else. A priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Bullshit, it was worth 10000 That's a lie. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eavestrom? Who do you think you are? Making Detective Cole Phelps. In my own home. I'm that detective in the paper that literally everyone else in the town knows. Clearly she can't read. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you Three satisfied? My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. What can you tell us about the burglary? Who's her daughter? Who's his boyfriend? That terrible Their boyfriend. Act. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk no, about No, that's what, what we're going to do. Talk about the night. It was almost a year ago. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman. And oh, that's an interesting connection. I returned home and all of my Our, uh, victims were missing. Doctor that's about it knew she Mrs. wasn't going to be there. The department will get in touch and that, let you know how you can recover your body. He's totally involved. You've only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps? That's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother! <laughs> Oh! Hello, detectives. Oh, what it's the bitch on? from the like from the fashion exactly store. The you have met my daughter this morning at work. 
Oh. Mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives mm. recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? A pearl ring on your, your fucking finger. Miss Swanson, would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Jolly good. Let's do that. Oh, we've got her in the car too. I'm sorry, lady. You're going to have the most interesting ride of your life. Obviously arranged in the burglaries. That's my fiance. You're making scurrilous accusations. About. Shut the fuck up, bitch. It's a police car. And Randall was obviously his partner, but neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous, both of you. There's, there's a very good explanation for all of this. What a you did it. it, sister. You're being played for a patsy, and you're not even smart enough to see it. She probably wants three fingers too. I bet she does, eh, uh, Panda? I bet she does. At least three uh, fingers. Maybe she's wearing a seatbelt. Well, let's find out, shall we? Yep, yeah, she's wearing a seatbelt. What's wrong with you? Um, I don't think the three fingers would make her puke. Greek. Quiet, no. <laughs> That'd be fucking funny actually if she were flying out the car, we failed the bloody case. This case wraps up soon, so I don't fucking fall asleep in the middle of it. Is this going to be the last case of uh, the stream, too, guys? Because the game has been stressing me tonight. And it's getting late, anyway. Are we get sick from that erratic driving? Me, too, to be perfectly honest. That's a video game. I don't see the point in driving slow and fucking hope you got some realistically. Money saved, oh! Though. We actually destroyed the car. I didn't know you could do that. Let's get another one. Oh, it's only two seaters. So oh, we can't do that then. Because we've got fucking three finger Marie in the back. No seatbelts in the back of a fucking EH wagon. That's brave. Can we get some Arnott's biscuits while we're here? Oh wait, wrong Arnott's. Come on, sister. Let's find out who your fiancé really is. What do you guys think? Is he gonna be there? Or is he, uh, taken off already? Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, are you a resident? Yes, I'm a resident of the whole detectives. country. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um... Uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. Don't need your fucking permission to take the lift. Push the button. Well, isn't this just nice and awkward?
Stop! LAPD! Cole, this guy's our case. Go on, Put get your hands up. in the air! Well, if we kill him, then we solve the case or something. Give it up, LAPD! Oh, he's gone up the other fucking building. Of course he has. Don't make me chase you! Oh, wow. Then we've got to do this bullshit in the middle of a pursuit. That's totally fair and reasonable. We're going to lose him trying to get across this stupid fucking plank. Always the hat, Greasy. Fuck! Or not. Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How did I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. <laughs> hello, Flop. How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? Like a trip to Mexico? You told Heather you're honeymooning without her? Heather, that's her name. Three Finger Heather. Asheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. Probably on the fucking. A graduation present for my. Parents. Yeah, bullshit. No, we've already looked at that. Put it down. Thank you. Let's see what else we can find around here. Incidental. Although the music stops, so that's basically everything relevant. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and LeBlanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. No, you're not. You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for $600. A case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties, and find out where and when, and then have the guests burgled. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? Because she wanted too much money. To stop to, to get out of that life. Gonna marry Heather if she had him. Julia told the others that that they were out, that she was gonna create a, a new gang. I don't think we've got anything that contradicts that. So But why kill her? She always looked down on those two. Of course we can. She it told wrong. them that she was cutting them out, they they swore to get even with. Which makes perfect fucking sense and is totally logical and proves that he was actually telling the truth. Who is Henderson and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. I guess doubt. We've got nothing about Henderson other than his name being mentioned. Give it up, Arnett. Of course, that's also fucking wrong. Chamber. Fucking Give hell. some reason to commute. You still don't get it, do you? Julia entrapped everyone. She was so beautiful. So goddamn cold. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary. 
and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. So Meanwhile, why fucking tell us that there's no Henderson and we've got no fucking evidence to say otherwise? Fuck, this game pisses me off. <laughs> Just fucking drives through the cop. Nice. And we've got to go talk to Stoneman. Not that we're going to get anything useful out of him because this game is fucking bullshit. Trying to get something out of her teeth or wishing there was something between her lips. You never quite tell with our three fingers. the wedding's huh? off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So, how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. There goes a week's wages. You know what? There goes a fucking another week. And another. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, Roy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? Should have never told you that. Goddamn God maniac! Pages. And of course, this time it doesn't do the stupid cutscene shit. I'm sitting here just waiting for it to trigger it. It doesn't. Doctor's a spy too. Everyone's a spy to you, Greek. I think maybe you're the spy. So what I think's going on here. Yeah, see, Doctor, Greasy knows what's going on. Something to make this all better. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett, and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see another you, and one. he says and it's another urgent. one. And Thank another one. Thank you, Morgan, for following me the stream. One. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. Yeah, you're fucking busted now. Because it's not so Henry. Came. Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She... never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're, you're under like arrest. You're like two or three times her age. Why would she? Other practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. I want to see no one. Not my wife, or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. Easy. Best uh, type of cases, those. You fucking idiot. Didn't see that coming. No, really? The open window didn't give it away? What else do we have to fucking investigate? Surely it's over. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Maybe if we did, he'd still be alive. He would have landed in the seat and he'd be fine. To the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Iver Street, Hollywood. 
En route, detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is Probably a little bit. at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective oh, Bukowski we've got to arrest says the other dude. There. On our way. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. Get around the fucking corner. He's totally fine. He's just having a nap. He'll be, that old he'll be boy fine. really fell for that broad. Literally. Oh, she was incredibly beautiful. Yeah, but you missed the pun call. He literally for fell for her. Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Oh, he's such a lovely Thank individual, boy. Right? <laughs> Investigate bedtime. As soon as this case is over, I'm getting out of here and getting some rest. Oh, look, it's just around the corner. How convenient. Could have fucking walked there. He's around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. Can they speak English, maybe? A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as Can well. Can hear a harmonica in the background? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. We don't want him to bolt on us. Wait. Bull. Do you hear that? Yes, that's why I'm fucking walking towards it, idiot. What part of keep your mouth shut so he doesn't run that you not understand? You stupid motherfucker. Now we've got to kill the bastard. Oh no, he's going up on the roof. Maybe we can knock him out. Sneaky harmonica gun. Pretty much. He's, he's a good harmonica player, I'll give him that much though. Well, at least they're mixing up the um, path that they're running on for this one. Where the fuck are you going up the stairs still? Ah, so this is in 1947. Hold on. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. There he is. Wait the son of a bitch. How many fucking bullets is it going to take to kill this guy? One more once he got up to the Son right of a spot. Bitch really picked this spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. 
I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She was she actually. Really made an impression on me. Leah had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think it you should did buy need your more brother uh, officers a drink. Absolutely agree, Do though, you wasn't now? it? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. And we finally finished that case. Like with the last stream, I'm going to continue past this and make sure it triggers the next case and not like an interim cutscene so we don't miss anything else. But after that, then we're going to wrap things up. So let's see. Ah! You'd think that after the first guy, they'd stop running in front of the gun. Seems fucking obvious to me. He's fucking gone. Wow. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole! Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here! Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back! It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. One. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to First Lieutenant. Ah, oh, boy. The one time where you get a medal just for being the last motherfucker alive. Isn't it glorious? Alright, so that's another case. So we're going to wrap it up there, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed.